Victor Schauberger, June 30, 1885, September 25, 1958, was an Austrian forest caretaker, naturalist, pseudoscientist, philosopher, inventor and biomimicry experimenter. Schauberger developed his own ideas based on what he observed in nature. There are some individuals who have given themselves wholly to the betterment of their fellow human beings. Copernicus, Newton, Johannes Kepler, and Galileo Galilei come to mind who devoted their whole lives to the understanding of the universe and the raising of human consciousness. Without exception they were endowed with extraordinary perceptive and intuitive abilities, which afforded them fresh insights into the way in which the world functioned, enabling them to understand phenomena hitherto inexplicable to their contemporaries. Some of these great teachers were born with this ability, while others fought long and hard external and personal battles to acquire it, their struggles fraught with hardship and ridden with disappointment. Victor Schauberger was one of those rare human beings, those explorers in human thought and endeavor, whose chosen path was to throw light on the future. Victor Schauberger's life followed a path similar to those of his illumined predecessors, for in his life too he was met with derision, slander and deceit in a long confrontation with the establishment in its various forms. He was a man of enormous strength of purpose, he was warm and encouraging, particularly to young people in whom he took a great interest, for he saw in them the possibility for the restoration of a secure and bountiful future but too, whose view of life he considered irretrievably perverted spiritually and intellectually, he was absolutely uncompromising, seeing them as obstacles on the path of human evolution and in the rehabilitation of the environment. He did not want to be forced to see things through other jaundiced eyes, but through his own. For, as he later wrote, the only possible outcome of the purely categorizing compartmentality, thrust upon us at school, is the loss of our creativity. People are losing their individuality, their ability to see things as they really are and thereby their connection with nature. They are fast approaching a state of equilibrium impossible in nature, which must force them into a total economic collapse, for no stable system of equilibrium exists. Therefore the principles upon which our actions are founded are invalid, because they operate within parameters that do not exist. Our work is the embodiment of our will. The spiritual manifestation of this work is its effect. When such work is done properly, it brings happiness, but when carried out incorrectly, it assuredly brings misery. In 1958, an investment fund lured him to the USA. Victor saw his emigration as an opportunity for the development of his non-centralized and environmentally friendly energy generation by means of implosion, however, he later realized that the investor's intentions were not fair. He was forced to give up all of his paperwork and prototypes in order to be able to return to his fatherland, where he passed away soon after his return. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Love of Learning channel to see more videos like this one. The two videos shown on the screen might interest you. Click on them to learn more.